Hurt song, everybody. Yeah. Oh, hey, everybody. Yeah, we're going to be friends, I can tell already. You guys, I'm not what anyone would ever call a ladies' man. Have been accurately described numerous times as a lady man, though. So, got that going for me. I, uh, I did have her get my very first girlfriend at the tender age of sixth grade. This is how I got her, refused to leave the skate floor during a couple skate at somebody's birthday party. <laughs> Yeah, a couple skate at a sixth grade birthday party is a mean thing to do to a bunch of little kids, right? Like, the DJ came over the loudspeaker like, Yeah, that's right, it's couple skate time. So all you 11-year-old losers going home with dry dicks, get the fuck off the skateboard. <laughs> Go to the arcade, play Rampage or something. I don't want to play Rampage. I'm sick of knocking stuff down. I'm gonna build something up, you know? Yeah. Hand in hand with a sixth grade woman. <laughs> You'll hear a lot of guys say, though, like, I don't even know how to speak to a woman, and that's not me. Like, I can totally talk to a woman, as long as I'm not trying to fuck her. You know, like, as long as, <laughs> as, long as I'm not trying to have sex with her. Do you guys know that if you're not trying to have sex with a woman, she's just a person, and I can totally <laughs> talk to a person, like, all day long. <laughs> I'll talk to a mom, like a mom, that's what I mean. Like, I will charm the pants right on a mom. They will <laughs> stay exactly where they're supposed to be. Pulled up, zipped, buttoned, belted, snug even, you know? Like, the mom will be like, these pants are tighter than I remember. I think I'm putting on a little bit of weight. And I'll be like, oh, no, 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 no. You are just as lovely as ever, Mrs. Johnstone. And so I'll be like, you're a gentleman and a bit of a scamp, Mr. Herzog. <laughs> Moms love me. They can't, I'm so non-threatening. I think that's why. Like, I, I, no one has ever been afraid of me, ever, once in my life. If you think that I could be tough like, or be mistaken for tough, I'm going to put an end to that right now. Uh, in your brains, try to imagine me wearing a leather jacket. It can't be done, right? You can't <laughs> do it. Unless it's like one of those novelty pictures of like a baby wearing a leather, just all like adorable little soft hair pushed up into a mohawk, a fake tattoo that says mommy. You know, like that's <laughs> the only way you can do it. No one has ever seen me walk into a room and been like, ugh. Here comes trouble, unless I'm literally carrying the children's board game trouble. <laughs> who's ready for some good, clean pop matic fun? It's board game night. Nobody's getting any laid. Aaron Herzog's in town. That's why I call it any laid. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, take better care of myself. I'm trying to exercise more and eat better. I have a, uh, a box of low-fat granola in my kitchen. The back of the box has a message on it. It says, healthy living is making healthy choices, which is a pretty good message. But I also have a box of Captain Crunch Oops All Berries. <laughs> the back of that box says, we have made a delicious mistake. <laughs> Which box do you think's emptier? <laughs> the granola, because I poured it away, threw it out. Get out of my face. I was playing basketball recently for exercise. Pick up, not professional. Just a good old game of four on four ba ball. Just, just balling it up, and it's me. And my team, it was me and uh, three other white guys, and we were playing this team of four black guys, and it just happened to be that way. Like, we didn't plan it, it wasn't on purpose. We weren't like, hey, fellas, let's prove something. You know? <laughs> we can do it. Play good on three. Uh, to play well, you know, that's not, that's not what it was like. But we were winning the basketball game. We, the whites, us, home team, that's who we are. <laughs> And we were waiting the game, and then this weird thing happens where all the black dudes on the sidelines waiting to play next started noticing that we were winning and just going nuts cheering for us. You know, like, like, like Larry Bird, Dirk, like all that <laughs> nonsense. It was like the Rocky Four of pickup basketball. <laughs> like at first they're like, we're cheering for our own countrymen. But then by the end they're like, if I could change and you could change, <laughs> everybody could change. <laughs> And I realized this is racist. These 
fellas aren't cheering for us because they like us and they want us to do well. They're cheering for us because they think it's all so hilarious that a bunch of white guys are winning at basketball. Then I had a double realization that that's as bad as racism gets against white people. <laughs> and it is slightly condescending, but also adorable and supportive. <laughs> All right, you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you.